Hey guys and welcome to the 3D Animation Hub. I hope you're all staying safe and I hope you're practicing social distancing in this current virus situation. Chances are you probably have more time on your hands than usual and it's probably best to keep busy and it's probably even better to do something more productive with your time like working on your demo reel. Now I know the current situation put a pause on most things, almost everything, but soon studios are going to start rolling again and you want to be fully prepared when that comes and you want to be able to take advantage of that. So to be prepared, in this video, I'm going to be sharing my top 15, my top 15 demo reel tips to keep in mind when you're making your demo reel. This is aimed more at people newish to the industry or people getting started. Uh, but I'm sure if you're an experienced animator, you'll still get something valuable from this. And all right, let's jump in. Demo reel tip number one, a good mixture of body mechanics and acting shots. Preferably you want both body mechanics, which is stuff like acrobatics or just the character running and jumping on something or just a full body animation. And you also want some acting shots. You know, it doesn't have to be full body. It could be just be from torso up, uh, from stomach up, and it'll be the character acting to a line from a movie or just something emotional something it doesn't have to be you know the character waving around but it could just be like a subtle acting just emotions on the face and preferably you want each of those to be around 10 seconds so i'd say probably six to ten seconds tip number two show variety in acting so even in the body mechanic shots, you should really ideally have a bit of simple story or acting. It shouldn't just be like an exercise, like a character lifting up a boulder. It should be the character tripping over the boulder, looking at it, then lifting it up. You know, that's just an example. Tip number three, no distracting music. Music is fine, but you don't want no dubstep in the background going. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yeah, so just. Don't have any distracting music, have, th have something soothing. You don't really need music and don't really go animating your reel around the music. Chances are, unless it's dialogue, the person viewing the demo reel isn't gonna have sound on. Uh, so don't worry about music, have something soothing and low in the background and that should be more than enough. Tip number four, start with your best shot and end with your second best shot. I'm sure you guys have heard this a hundred times, if not a thousand times. But it's true. Recruiters usually give a reel only a few seconds before deciding they're gonna watch the rest of it or not. And so that's the reason for having your best shot first is to keep their attention, have them keep watching. And the reason you wanna have your second best shot last is to leave a lasting impression. So what they end with is what they're gonna remember. And if it's your second best shot, they're most likely gonna remember that. Tip number five, have your name and contact information at the beginning and at the end of your reel. That's sort of self-explanatory. You just, you don't want them looking for your name. You begin it with your name and your information and you end it with it. Tip number six, don't pick sound clips from famous lines. Uh, you don't want the person reviewing it to instantly know where the line is from and you don't want them to visualize that character acting it out and them already having a perceived image of how the acting is supposed to go. Tip number seven, this one's pretty simple. Just uh, don't add any laugh tracks. That's just, it's just annoying. <laughs> Tip number eight, keep your reel close to one minute. Pick only your best shots. Don't add anything that's not working just to make your demo reel longer. I'm sure you guys have heard this as well. It's okay, even if it's a 30 second long demo reel, that's all right. It doesn't have to be two minutes. It doesn't have to be over a minute. I personally landed my current position, which is an amazing project, one of the best projects in Toronto. I landed it with a 40 second demo reel. Tip number nine, Show your strengths, not weaknesses. That one's pretty self-explanatory. If you're good at something, have more of that. If you're bad at something, don't show it. You don't have to show it. You show what you can do best. Tip number 10, shots don't have to be rendered. You can just give them a nice and simple lighting in the viewport. But if you have extra time and you've already finished your animation and would like to render it, I do have a video which I'll uh, add to the cart in the top right of your screen right now. The link will be in the description as well. I go over how to light and render your scene or your animation if you have the time. If not, just a, a few Maya lights in your viewport should be more than enough. Tip number 11, ask your friends or your teachers to look at your reel. Even if your friends aren't animators, they don't have to be. They might see something you don't, or they might say, 
oh, I don't really know what your what the idea of your animation is. I don't understand what it's trying to do. And that should be a big slap to the face that you got to go back to the drawing boards and rethink some stuff. Just in general, just take whatever criticism they give and try and see it from their point of view and try to improve your animation. Tip number 12. It's also a really good idea to look at professional reels on Vimeo to see how other people are structuring theirs. You don't have to invent the wheel. You can just look at what other people have done and implement the sort of timing they have, what the different types of shots they have, the body mechanic shots, their acting shots. Just take a look at people who are, for example, in the company you want to apply to. You can look them up, see what kind of reels they have and make something similar. Tip number 13, target your reel towards the position you're applying for. For example, a gaming reel will look completely different than a feature animation reel. A gaming reel is probably a lot more cycles and animation layers and stuff like that, but a feature animation will be a lot more realistic and it'll be stuff like acting. Tip number 14, use a variety of rigs. Don't just stick to one rig the entire reel. I have a link to Trung's rigs down below in the description. He has some pretty awesome rigs. Most are free and the rest are pretty cheap, probably around like one to five dollars. So super, super affordable. I have the link to his rigs down below in the description. And last but not least, tip 15, where to upload your reel. I suggest you upload to Vimeo and not YouTube. Overall, Vimeo is considered the platform for artists. It's like YouTube, but for professionals, filmmakers, and for artists. On top of that, you can password protect your content. And that's not all. And another amazing feature that Vimeo has is, for example, let's say you send a link out to a few companies, but then within the next week or so, you add a new shot and you want to add it to, the, to your demo reel, but you don't want to send out new links to all those companies. You can just upload your new reel to the previous link. You just update the video and the link will stay the same. So when the recruiters click on your link that you sent a week ago, the new video will come up instead. And I just think that's amazing. Just a real quick reminder that if you enjoyed this content and would like to support the channel farther, we do have a Patreon now, which gives you access to some more goodies like the stuff I upload on Gumroad, as well as the animator's handbook PDF, which gets updated continuously, or at least I try to. Patreon just helps me keep the video quality higher, but I'll continue uploading free weekly videos. So if you're not able to support the channel that way, I'd appreciate you smashing that like button just as much. With that out of the way, let's hop back into the video. All right, so this has been my top 15 demo reel tips for animations. Animators. This has been my top 15 demo reel tips for animators. If you have any tips of your own, make sure to drop a comment down below, help others out. And with all that out of the way, happy animating, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video.